Perfect. Perfect. Hope you all are having a great day. My day has just started and I have a few things that I need to do today. So for Thanksgiving, I did a little paint sip with my friends. These photos, these look hella professional. It looks like we might know what we're doing. Y'all see this? Look, this looks legit. Like this is how you do a paint party. Look at, do y'all see these masterpieces back here? Let me tell you how much I enjoy doing this. So I got these from the Amazing Paint Party. Is that right? The Amazing Paint Party. They are a black owned business. <laughs> how it works is you paint by number. So each of these, each of these colors is a different number and it's already outlined for you on the canvas. It's very easy to do. It, it's a, it takes a little bit of time. Like this maybe took us a couple of hours. Sylvia was done quick. Sylvia did Tupac, Sharika did Obama, and I did Aaliyah. But I just love these. I love the way they turned out. So I gotta pack these two up so I can ship them to them in Seattle. And Aaliyah, I have to find a place for her on the wall. I'm thinking, so I'm thinking Aaliyah is going to go here and I'm gonna put this down in the guest room. That's all I do around here is reshuffle decor. I'm always moving something from somewhere. I put it on one wall like, mm, I don't really like that right there, and move it to another wall. Like, that's all I do. Cause I ain't got nothing else to do but shuffle my stuff around. So let me pack these up so I can send those off to them. Ugh, they look so dope. So I pack these up, go drop these off. And then I need to go to Warby Parker because I need some new glasses. And then I'm going to Adidas because I have a problem. And I want to go to the Adidas outlet, which is about 30 minutes away. So that's where I'm going. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have... Oh, you know what I want to do? So I was... Wa mm, you can't see me, but you're going to see me in a minute. But I was watching a YouTube video. And she did... I guess it's something that's been seen on TikTok. She painted some glass jars so that they look like ceramic and i have these three up here which i'm kind of over this look i don't really want this no more i just want it to be white because on this side you know it's white right and then my teeth oh let me show y'all y'all ain't seen this so i my goal so when i first got my goal for my tv area was for this to all look white right so i got my white sound bar and then I got the white bezel frame to go around my TV because I wanted this to look white. So I got my white over here and then I want that to be white up there. So I'm gonna try out that technique of painting those white. Okay, we'll see how that goes. But I was gonna get rid of these because I didn't really like it, but I put the candle on there and I think I like it a little bit better. But and then I gotta hide these wires cause I hate wires being visible. So I got my little wire thingy that I need to put on when it comes from Amazon. But yeah, and I also did this. So before it was just a little picture up there. I wanted to display some of my favorite albums up here. So that's what I did next to my media cabinet. Just some little updates. Oh, also, I, I just been doing stuff around here. Um, so I added a light fixture. It was not one there before. So I added this for some light in this area because I have yet to find two lamps that I like. So still no lamps, but I needed light. So we went with this. I like it. I like it a lot. Isn't she cute? So yeah, I've I'm pretty much given up my lamp search. That's just a diffuser over there. But... I really want two lamps. I really do. Hopefully I'll be able to find one, find some. I kind of suspended my lamp search cause I was over looking for lamps and being disappointed. So I was like, whatever. 
Um, so let me get these packed up and let me get to Warby Parker because I want to get to Warby Parker when, well, they open at 10, it's 9.55. It's close to the time as they open, and then I definitely want to get to Adidas when they open. So I'm trying to be quick in Warby Parker, look at some glasses, and I'll probably take those to the post office later. But that's all we doing today, as if I need any more Adidas, because that's all I wear. I'm telling you, at like this age, you choose comfort over being cute. But you can be comfortable and still be cute, so that's why I always got on my cute little Adidas 1212. Um, but yeah, I have a mild obsession with Adidas, so I'm going to go feel that obsession and go to the outlet that I've never been to before and hopefully I find some good stuff. Okay, I'm confused because when I looked online, it said it didn't open till 11, but I'm here and it's like open. Oh, I mean, I don't know if Adidas is open, but it's hella cars in the parking lot. People walking up like the stores is open. So is it open? I'm not sure. What's the name of this outlet place? I don't even know where I am. I mean, I guess I figured it should have been crowded here on a uh, on a Saturday. Okay, it say it open at 11 on Google, but Google don't always be right now. What outlet? The outlet shops at Atlanta. We ain't in no Atlanta for y'all to be talking about the shops in Atlanta. This is not Atlanta. They be wanting to claim Atlanta all hella far out. This is, well see the outlet mall itself is open. Let me see what time it say. This is the worst lotion. Watch my hands, it's gonna be ashy in like five minutes. It say they opened at eight. Okay, so did all of the stores open at eight? Let me see, Adidas. This shit opened up at eight o'clock. I could have been out here. Ain't this some shit? Man, I could have been here. All right, let's go see what we can find. That was pretty uneventful. I got see me it's a lot of sun i got two pairs of pants and a shirt but i'm about to go on puma and i want to go on polo and that's probably it okay that was super uneventful um not much adidas didn't have much i was quite disappointed in that outlet the one in florida was much better but yeah so i got some pajama pants from polo and that was about it now I'm out of here, it's 11.30. I think I'm gonna try to go to War Warby Parker now. Yeah, I'm gonna head that way. You can't see me good, but these are cute. I like these. These are super cute. Then we have these, which is an oversized frame, but I like. my glasses they are super cute they some cute little cat eye frames i feel like my glasses that i have now are so basic regular schmegulars i wanted something with a little pizzazz so we ordered up some pizzazz all right now i've been spending up too much money now here i got a dilemma i have to use the bathroom but i don't want to go all the way home but I don't be liking to use no public restrooms, especially during these times. Do I go home and use the bathroom, then come back out? Cause I feel like if I go home, I'm gonna get lazy. So I am going to the thrift store to look for some more glass, uh, glassware, glass, a vase, a something that I can paint and make it look ceramic-y. Um, cause the ones that I have have the, the tops on it. I don't know how those are going to look. So I'm going to go see what my options are here and head to, and I like going to this thrift store because I find some good stuff in this one. It's small, um, but I like it. And then it's over by Via Vana, my Vietnamese spot where I can go get my lemongrass tofu, which is so good. So I'm about to head over there right now. I'm so confused. Let's do like this. Are they not open? Okay, so here's what I got. I got these 
pictures. And I probably could show you better when I get home, but I only got them for the frame. Like I'm gonna pop all of this out and use the frame. And then I got some glassware. Well shit, you can't see it, but I found some good stuff. All for the low, low price of $14. But yeah, I like buying frames, picture frames from the thrift store and then painting them and making them look like something much better than what they look like before. Why is the heat on? Okay, but now I'm about to go pick up my food from Vietvana. It should be ready. Oh yeah, it's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my food and I'm going home. Okay, I'm back home. I ran in here to the bathroom. Um, I can just show y'all what I got from the outlet mall, which is nothing special. I just got some these little sweats. They almost like the ones I got on with the like jogger type feel. Got those. I needed some gray sweats. Everything I have is black. Black is my favorite color, so, you know, it is what it is. And then these, it might look like I already have a pair of these, which I do, but not this one. The ones I have, the stripe doesn't go all the way down. The stripe kind of stopped halfway. And then just a little zip up, a little hoodie, a zip up hoodie with the Adidas on the side, which that will probably look good with the what I got on now because the sweats I got on now got the thingy on the leg and then I could put that on with the boom boom <laughs> but yeah that's all I got from there and then I actually I love 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 polo pajama bottoms they're actually men's but you know they be all baggy and comfortable on me so I just got some pajama pants um, these are so comfortable to just wear around the house. Love those. And then these ones, which are just like, you know, some jogger style pants with the little polo thingy right there. Nothing special. And then I got some shorts, which just some little polo shorts. Again, these are men's, but I like the way they fit. They're very, very comfortable, so. I got those. I'm about to eat my food right now. And then I'll show you all the stuff that I got from the thrift store, Second Life. But then I need to run back out to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or one of the two to get some paint for my little craft project that I'm going to do. Here's what the lemongrass tofu looks like from Viavana. This stuff is so good. Even if you're not a tofu person, the seasoning and everything on here, the way it's fried to perfection. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm about to eat this and then we'll chat later. Okay, I ate that food and got a little too relaxed. I started dozing off on the couch. Uh, okay, yeah, let me uh, get ready. See my Leah? Let me get ready for my, uh, my little arts and crafts project. So it's paint and baking soda i believe i have some baking soda oh yeah baking soda and paint so let me go get my items out of the car so i can show you all what i got like i got this one it's textured as you can see so it's gonna look real nice painted only $1.99 And then I got this one, which is just, this is gonna look really nice. I'll paint it too, I think. This one I got just actually for flowers to go in my kitchen. This one will not be painted. Although, uh, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. And then I got a little guy. Just to get a little guy. So I got this little one here. So yeah, yeah, that's probably, you know, I'm thinking of a set of three. So maybe something like that, if you all can see. I don't know, we'll have to play it by ear. Like I said, I might use the ones that are already up there, but we'll see how it turns out. But yeah, I like this one, because I like the texture on it. But, mm-hmm, these need to be cleaned out. 
wonder if I should, uh, they'll be using a dishwasher. Actually, I'm just looking for the cheap little crafty paint. Let me, I don't want the expensive paint, I want the cheap paint. See, I just want the cheap paint, like the kids paint paint. Let me figure this out. Okay, I found it. I don't want white, white. I want like a, but I want, maybe I might have to mix it. See, like a, I don't want it to be too light. So maybe, Starting for some uh, maybe a white. I don't feel like I need that much paint. So maybe like this does. Like a white. Oh, just this one. Fine, ain't it? I'm going with this three ninety nine. And then maybe a little. How do I make this like not shiny? I got something that you put in here to make it more matte because I don't want it to be I don't know if this is gonna look shiny because I don't know what the hell I'm doing I don't know I don't know how this works um, um, cuz I don't know what I'm doing so what if I just like use one of these see whisper look like it would be right I'm not sure don't know what I'm doing. I find I've been doing a lot of that lately. A lot of not knowing what I'm doing. I do not. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you were holding that like maybe you were going to put it back. Uh, no, ma'am. All right. I think I got everything that I need. Well, I went and got the paint, but I just realized I forgot to start the dishwasher to wash out these glass containers. So now I have to wait for those to wash now. It's gonna be a minute, so let me start a dishwasher now. And I'll go occupy myself by lounging across the couch and watching a little telly. You know, I forgot how long my dishwasher take. I swear it's like three hours later, maybe like two. But the dishwasher is finally done. It's like seven o'clock, it just took forever. I'm like, why didn't I just wash them by hand? Cause I wanted to use the dishwasher, but okay. And this one is going to be my flower face or vase. It's a vase. Okay, nice and clean. I like this one. Nice and clean. And then my little guy. Now I'm gonna get the ones down. Why didn't I wash the ones that have been sitting up there on the shelf that's probably dusty? I just thought about that. Oh my gosh, like I'm an idiot. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to hand wash those because I'm sure they're hella dusty from sitting up there on that shelf. But I'm gonna bring those down and see if I, see how I feel and see if I wanna paint those too. So let me go grab those. I don't know, I might end up doing two, I might end up doing one. I don't know, we gotta see how we feel. You know what, I'm just gonna paint the ones that I got I'll figure out something with these other three. I'm telling you, all I do is just move decor from one spot to the next. I think it works over here, and then I keep it there for a little bit, then I don't like it, and I move somewhere else. So I'm going to paint three new ones, and we'll see how I like these. So let's start with that. Okay. So I'm going to start with the little one first, of course. Baby steps. Should I pour the baking soda in first or the paint first? Mmm. Yeah, that's way too white. I'm kind of playing this by ear. And add some baking soda. I don't know how much of this we need. So I'm just mixing it up. Mm, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Totally not sure what I'm doing. But I feel if this consistency don't be right, like gritty, you know, and not look just like paint, then I could uh, always like do another coat or do it again. But I think this looks gritty enough. 
So let's go in. And then we're just gonna paint this on here. Okay, this got some good texture to it. I remember whose video I saw. It was Ryan. Oh, not Ryan. I went on, don't know. I don't know why I want to say Ryan. It was Raven. Raven did this. I was like, that's a good ass idea. I didn't see it on TikTok. I saw it on Raven. Okay, this is a little too much. Why is my paint so thin? I need something a little bit thicker. So it like coats better. But I'm trying to do it in a motion where it looks right now it's just looking not good maybe because I need multiple coats I don't know it's just gonna need a second coat that's what this is boiling down to because uh seem like everywhere I when I keep doing it I'm like making it not look nice all right let me just stop here this is where I'm gonna stop for now I'm gonna put another coat on of course because this isn't isn't you know good um but i don't know how long it needs to dry in between so i'm gonna just let this sit for a little bit kind of test it out maybe in an hour or so and then come back and paint hey Aaliyah. yesterday i was very frustrated with this project um it wasn't quite going the way i wanted it to it seemed like when i tried to do the second coat the paint was was saturating the existing paint so then it started removing the first layer of paint and I was like, we might just have to call this one a fail, but I slept on it. I let it dry overnight. I'm gonna give it another coat and we're gonna see what happens. But here's where we are right now. So, as you can see, it looks pretty decent. I will do another coat on here. But let me, this one, this one just, I struggle big time with this one. I don't, look, that's when I would paint it on and it will pull off some of the other layer. It was drippy. Like this one is, ugh, we might have to call this one a fail. I think the grooves worked better than like the smoother ones because even I struggled on this one too. Um, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. You won't see it up close because it's going to be high up on the shelf. So maybe it won't look too bad. <sighs> I'm going to just try to do another coat and see what happens and then let that dry. And then, I don't know, maybe maybe this is fixable. Maybe with another coat on top, it won't. It'll cover up some of this, some of these imperfections. I do really like this one, though. I think, like I said, I think it's because it has these grooves in it that makes it... Uh, and now that I'm looking at it, it's a little more creamier than I wanted it. So I'm going to add more white this time. But I think it's okay. Um, let's just try another coat. I'll come back after I put that coat on. Wow. I'm going to put another coat on. I'll let you all see what it looks like when it dries. And then hopefully we got something that we can work with. I don't know. I might be putting those glass jars back up there, but we'll see. Okay, real quick. This coat came out much better. And then that looks better but I realized the key to it is allowing each coat to dry completely before you apply a new coat so it went on much better today I think I'm gonna stop here let this completely dry and then just go from there again it's gonna be high up on a shelf you won't be able to see it close in detail so I'm not really worried about the imperfections that are on there but we'll come back and see what it looks like completely dry and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I put it up on the shelves okay so here is what they turned out okay maybe i can go well so it's not the greatest i got some drip marks on here that i didn't realize was on here it's kind of thin in some places as you can see so i probably could have used a, an additional coat but you know from the from a distance can you really tell you know i think i can dig it this one is just a disaster a whole disaster Okay, so here's how they look up in the space. I like it. I think I like it. See, look, this is what the other side looks like. So I have two up there. And then over here we have that. I'm almost inclined to get some white candlesticks on this side. 
these might be relocated because the mission of all white you know I yeah I really feel like white will look better here since we got all of this white 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 now white up there it might look better with uh but yeah see from a distance you can't tell how bad my you can't tell nothing got a little drip stain or nothing on it it looks perfect <laughs> so yeah it's kind of cool it's kind of cool i can dig it yeah i'm pleased with that so now i'm actually going to put Aaliyah up i'll debate i wonder if i'm going to get a if i should put it in a frame so this is where Aaliyah is going to go i'm going to take this down i think it works the reason i feel like it works because it's right on the the entrance of the lady lounge so you know i have rihanna here then i got my girls up here and then it's only fitting for you know Aaliyah to be right there does that look good right there i don't know and you come in and you go this way and you see my ladies Hopefully it works like I said I, I am I move stuff around all the time I repurpose recycle decor so I'll put it in one place and I'm like eh, it doesn't I don't really like it right there end up moving it someplace else so now since I'm in the moving I'm in the moving business right now I'm gonna move the map down to the guest room so let's go put that on the wall Okay, so this is the wall where I think the map should go because it's just kind of blank over there. Eh, what do we think? It looks a little right there. Uh, you know what? I'm not totally moved by it being right here because it looks so small on this wall. But for now, it's going to stay. Maybe if... Yeah, for now, it's going to stay. I, you know, I got to walk by it a couple times, come in here and look, and then get more ideas as far as how to fill in this space. But right now, I'm going to just leave that right there. Like I said, it's a little trial and error. You know, you put stuff certain places, you see how it looks. Then, you know, if it don't work out, you move it somewhere else. Mm. Let me turn the light off on that one. 